French and Turkish naval companies are keeping close tabs on industry efforts to create a kinetic torpedo interceptor, readying their own technological approaches to take to market if navies overcome their apprehension towards the futuristic concept. For decades, navies across the world have experimented with a wide range of countermeasures to distract, confuse, and strike incoming torpedoes, notoriously cunning threats to warships. But results, so far, are mixed. Now, a growing consensus among industry experts suggests that the ability to physically intercept enemy torpedoes is something like the holy grail in a cat-and-mouse game that favors the attacker. Both Aselson and Naval Group independently confirmed to Defense News that they are conducting research and developmental work to build hard-kill torpedo countermeasures, which presents its own set of complexities. Underwater targeting is much harder than in the air, due to the laws of physics, and while torpedoes move slower than cruise missiles, they are still challenging to detect. Antoine Kaufman, marketing manager for underwater systems at Naval Group, said it is in part the unique challenges found in the deep sea environment that help explain why many systems, anti-torpedo torpedoes, are not yet sufficiently mature to be integrated into militaries. Although several kinetic torpedo interceptors have already been developed, much of their lethal capability has yet to be tested, and their reliability remains largely uncertain. One existing system is the Tor Buster manufactured by Israel's Raphael, which employs generic or tailored acoustic signals to lure an incoming torpedo near a decoy which explodes at close range, a mechanism that does not convince. The Indian Navy is the only known international customer to have purchased Tor Buster following Raphael's announcement in May that it was partnering with local company Barat Dynamics Limited to equip Indian ships with the technology. European Defence Agency regarding an anti-torpedo torpedo demonstrator project, which builds on previous work done by Germany's Atlas Electronic and the Dutch TNO Research Organisation. The objective is to reach a production-ready design by 2028. It has already been proven that the system can successfully detect the attacking torpedo and subsequently activate the anti-torpedo torpedo, indicating that the desired effect can be achieved. Eugen Scrabach, the official added that negotiations are currently underway for more European Union member states to join the project.